Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up OpenVPN on your Windows 10 operating system. So first of all, we will start with the installation of the community version of OpenVPN. So for that, just open your favorite browser and search for OpenVPN. And the first link which will appear here will be from openvpn.net. Now straight away, under this result, you will be able to see this community downloads section so you can directly click on this section otherwise if you want to go to the openvpn website just click on openvpn website and from here also you will be able to see this community tab here so just hover over community and then select downloads from here and this will open the community downloads page for the openvpn now when you will scroll down here you will be able to see all these formats the one which we are going to use is this last one which is for Windows 10 and it's the installer. Okay, so we are going to just click on this version which says OpenVPN install the version of OpenVPN-win10.exe file and once this file is downloaded we are going to just start the installation. So just click on the exe file once it's downloaded I'm going to minimize the browser also click on yes first of all and minimize the browser and you can see the installation wizard of openvpn has started so i'm going to just click on next here and then if you want to read all these license terms and condition read them and if you agree with them just click i agree and here you can select the component to install so we are going to leave everything as default at this point and then click on next here and this will be the location where OpenVPN will be installed on your Windows operating system. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and then click on install. This is going to start the installation of OpenVPN on your Windows 10 operating system. And the installation process is really fast. So you just need to wait for a few seconds. And after a few seconds, you will be able to see this message which says, installation complete setup was completed successfully so at this point you can just click on next here and then if you want to read the readme file just leave it as checked otherwise just uncheck it and then click on finish so now the installation of openvpn is finished on our windows operating system and you will also see this icon on the desktop or you can just browse for openvpn from your windows start menu so what you need to do is you need to open the OpenVPN GUI application. So just select this option which says OpenVPN GUI. And for the first time, it's going to show you this warning, which is OK, which says no readable connection profile config file found because we haven't even provided any config file yet. The important thing to note here is you read the next line which says use the import file menu or copy your config file to this path or this path so the path which are provided in this warning you can copy your openvpn config file in those paths or you can import the config file from the menu also so you can just click on ok here which is going to launch the openvpn so directly you will not see openvpn on this desktop but when you click ok you will see at the bottom this openvpn icon here if you don't see uh, this openvpn icon on the taskbar you can always click on this uh, arrow and here you will see the openvpn icon so what you need to do is you just need to right click on this openvpn icon and you can see there are three options available here so the first option is for your config file. So, so when you click on import file here, you can provide the config file uh, using the browse option on your Windows operating system. But till now we don't have any config file. So if you are using OpenVPN for your uh, official purposes, then your company will provide the OpenVPN config file to you, which you can import here. Otherwise, uh, you can uh, find on internet many free VPN services which you can use or many paid VPN services also which you can use. Okay, so we are going to use a service which is called 
VPN book from where you can download the free OpenVPN config file for you. So just search for VPN book and the first link which will appear here will be from vpnbook.com. So I'm going to just click on this uh, website and then you will be able to see all these tabs here. Just click on the free VPN uh, tab here. So I'm going to just click on free VPN tab and here when you will uh, scroll down you can see a uh, free PPTP VPN and then you will also see free open VPN. So you need to uh, just go to the section which says free open VPN and here you can find the config file related to different countries also. So here I can see the open VPN certificate bundle options for US, uh, Canada and France. And important thing to note here is the username and password here okay so when you reach to this website when you scroll down under open vpn you will also see this username and password which will allow you to connect to the open vpn using those config files so you need to note these uh, username and password and then you can download any one of uh, these files so let's say i'm going to just uh, download the us one open vpn certificate bundle so i'm going to just click on this link which is going to download this zip file so i'm going to go to the location where this zip file is downloaded and now i'm going to just uh, right click and extract this file so i'm going to extract this file in the downloads folder itself otherwise you can browse for the folder wherever you want to extract this zip file so once this zip file is extracted you will be able to see all these four uh, configuration files here. So you can just copy this path from here. And once again, you can uh, just click on this arrow and then right click on open VPN GUI. So right click and then click on import. And from here, you can just uh, paste this path for your open VPN file. So I'm going to just paste this path, which I have copied. The one I'm going to select is the first one, which says TCP 80 at the end and then click on open, which is going to just open this file in your open VPN GUI. So I'm going to just minimize all these windows now and you can see this message, which says file import successfully. Okay. So when you click on, okay, and then once again, go to your uh, open vpn icon so just click on open vpn gui icon just double click on this the icon once again and this time you will be able to see this kind of window right so once you have imported this file and once you just click on this icon you will be able to see uh, this kind of window where you will be asked to provide your username and password now the username and password here will be the username and password which you will see on the vpn book website so when you scroll down here you can see this username and password is provided here at the bottom so the username which is given here is vpn book itself so i'm going to just write vpn book here which is the username and the password is this one so i'm going to just copy this uh, password you can't copy this password so you need to type it manually and if you want you can save this password also and then click on ok and once you do that i'm going to just wait for the connection to be established and you can see once the connection is successful you will be able to see this message which says vpn book us1 tcp80 is now connected Okay, you will also see that this open VPN GUI icon is now turned green. That means the connection is successful and you are now connected with the open VPN. So let's verify if this VPN connection is working or not. So I'm going to just uh, go to the browser and I'm going to just for uh, what is my IP and you will be able to see this IP address, which is not uh, my real IP address, it's provided by the VPN provider for me, right? And you will be able to see so many websites which you can use to find out your location. So I'm going to just click on the first website, which says, whatismyip.com. 
and once this website opens you will be able to see the location from where the connection is established so you can see this location is from us because we have selected the us open vpn certificate bundle that's why this location is from us so that means my vpn connection is working with my config file using open vpn so this is how you can install and set up open vpn on your windows 10 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video